Hi, Dr. Bradshaw here. All right, functional medicine patients, we're going to be working on strengthening our thighs, what are called the quadriceps, and our back thighs, which are called the hamstrings, and our glute muscles, which are called the butt muscles, all in one exercise. Okay, this is called ball squats. So we're going to take the exercise ball. This is very helpful. You don't have to necessarily do it this way. I'll show you without it in just a moment, but this is easier on your back to do it this way. So lean up against the ball with the ball in between you and the wall in your low back, okay? Put your feet out in front of you just a little bit so you're kind of leaning back like you can see me. If your feet are straight up and down, you're going to feel like you're going to lose balance. So lean back towards the ball just a little bit. Feet shoulder width apart, okay? Don't put the feet together, shoulder width apart. And then you're going to bend the knees, feeling the ball roll down back behind you until my Thighs are flat with the floor, or sorry, parallel with the floor, you can see that. And then come back up, and then back down, and back up. And we're going to do a set of 10. Down, and back up. And it won't take long, your thighs will be talking to you. Now, something to keep in mind. If your feet aren't far enough out in front of you, you may not be able to see this here. I'll move my feet back a little bit, so you can see this uh, potential problem with how you're doing it. If your feet aren't too far out in front of you and they're too close back underneath you, when you bend the knees, you'll see my knees go way out off the screen, but my feet are still on the screen. My feet, my knees are in front of my feet, my ankles. That's a problematic. You're either hurting your kneecaps and the tendons running underneath your knees. So put your feet a little further forward. So if you feel like your knees start to give you a little trouble, that's why. Put your feet a little further forward so when you go down, your knees are right over your ankles and you come back up and it won't give your knees any pain. You'll just feel it in your thighs. you feel a little bit in the hamstrings, a little bit in the glutes, a lot in your thighs, but you're getting all three. So those are called ball squats. Now, you can also do it without the ball. It's just a little bit harder. It's a little more aggressive, and you're not gonna move at all. All you're gonna do is you're gonna back up against the wall, feet out in front of you like you did before, but now you're gonna bend the knees so that your back and your shoulders and your head are all flush against the wall. You can see my legs are parallel, and I'm already working. I've already got my legs working. Put your hands back against the wall, and just stay right here. Take some deep breaths. As you count to 10, after you get to 10, you're gonna come out of it. You're gonna shake it out a little bit. Go back into it again. Get down into that squat position, and you're gonna hold it for 10 more. Do that for a count of 10. Do that a third time. If you're doing the ball, you're going to do 10 repetitions. Oops. You're going to do 10 repetitions. So you're going to go down and come back up 10 times. You're going to repeat that three times. That's one cycle. Holding with the uh, leg under, uh, with your legs underneath you and no ball, you'll hold that for a count of 10 three times. That's one cycle. We're going to do three cycles a day. So morning, midday, and evening. Really going to get some big time growth and strength in here. Now you're not going to have thunder thighs, but you will feel stronger. Your knees will be better when you go to work in the yard, bend over to pick something up, squat down to get your shoes off the floor. Your knees are going to feel better because your thighs are finally doing their job. Your butt's finally doing its job. All right, so get after this. Okay, this is really going to help. Enjoy.